And we're back. Welcome back, everybody. So before we get back into what's happening in the action of the game, let's welcome Shannon McCormick. Shannon! Uh, Shannon is uh, widely known as one of the nicest people in the Austin improv scene. Uh, he is wow. a great fella. Uh, he has an amazing voice. Uh, he's a good friend. Uh, just a solid guy front to back. Uh, I've worked with uh, Shannon and 819 Entertainment on the Nuked live stream and had a terrific time doing it. Doing it before then, I worked with uh, Shannon as a sometime guest with Epic, which was our live improvised D&D on stage before it was even a thing. Like, we were there first, man. <laughs> and uh, before that, <laughs> a bunch of different shows, like we used to occasionally do uh, improv together. Um, you may know if you are a, a discerning fan of certain kinds of uh, entertainment. You may recognize Shannon's voice. Uh, he has a, a marketable voice. <laughs> he, he is uh, he has been many be, awesome people. <laughs> so there's more, more. Man, I, want, I need to know how to market my voice. More about you? Fun. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, um, but it's like, I, uh, apparently my voice is marketable. I gotta, I gotta get on this. So, uh, anyway. we, yeah. we have at our table, well, if you were listening, you know, we have uh, Colt. By the way, I'm now with him in a room physically. So even He's though crazy. we're working with him for a year and a half, I can confirm he has flesh and blood and bones. I do exist. I'm not an AI that's been around a year, <laughs> your live stream for a year. <laughs> Uh, what's great about meeting Colt in person is he's uh, very tall. He's a taller. I don't know why. I Thank just you. assume he's taller than me. I think you're I, like, I'd assumed you're five tall. seven. Okay. And uh, you are you are not that. <laughs> I, that's fine. Um, so uh, and and so you know the deal. Yeah. So we have uh, a lizard man rogue. We have a dwarven wizard. We have a Hurungan, a a, a bunny uh, <laughs> a fighter. Uh, barbarian, mm -hmm. and we have a wood elven cleric. And as you come around, if you've been following the stream, which I know you have, you know kind of what's been going on. But as you uh, open your eyes anew, uh, you wake up in a cave with a dead hydra, and you're wounded. You're not. You're not feeling great. This is like you've take somebody's bitten you. Which one of you bit me? Mm. You're pointing at the Hydra, I assume? Oh, well, I... It, it, it was either the Hydra or one of you. Well... I'm dead, uh, right? Are we mm, dead? I don't really know. But here's what you should know. You and I were really good friends. Also... There's an amulet we're going for. Also, we're not on the same plane as before. What? They can feel it. I, right. They, 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 my, the rest dead, of my right? people we're have we're better ways to communicate this to you. I'm kind of still riding the high from killing this hydra. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on, man. You called me sexy right. like two minutes ago. I. Apparently, that did him in. Did you guys I kill that Hydra? <laughs> I heard a thud. I think it's dead. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Yay! Okay. Do you feel like caught up to... Do you, do you have more questions, Maddox? We can, You're we can iron this out. You're definitely not dead, Maddox. I'll go heal them. You stay here and I, the stuff. I think that it's a ghost. That's exactly what a ghost would say, is that you are not dead. There's been a lot of talk of death. I feel terrible. Like one of you bit me or oh, something no. bit me. Mm. Did, I, did Maddox's brain go scramble again? It is just like a squashed bug. Hello, you are Maddox number five of our acquaintance. Maybe they just get weirder as they keep going. That's possible. I'm Will Billiff. I'm the Let's cleric. Go. Call me nice Will, it's you. easier. Gwil. This is. I am Gleemimzy! Barbarian! Barbarian! If, if you'll yes. sit down, then I'll take care of that bite. I'm Benny. I just okay. killed this Hydra. That's about all you need to know about me. <laughs> I'm Glendier. I'm in the other room! 
We have a wizard <laughs> in, in the other room identifying the weird religious clothing. So, while right. I am healing all of this, then we can start with the explanations. The hyperbite. I'll heal you too. All right, so, long story short, we are trying to stop an apocalypse in our home plane of existence. To do that, we have to find the squared circle relic that belongs to Zebrex the Plane Strider. We have recently discovered Zebrix has moved his consciousness into a new patchwork body. Like, literally, it looks like a flesh golem of some kind. Oh, I thought maybe you were saying that it was me. No, 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 no. no. Whoa, that would be a mind blow. Oh, okay. That would be crazy. But <laughs> As far as we're aware, you are not Zebrix yet. Whoa. We hope that you're not Zebrix. We, we did ask him right at the beginning if he had the squared circle. I checked sick. his pockets. And he said he didn't have it. That but is we did a search him, though. <laughs> I trust Maddox. Hey, Maddox, how do you spell your name? Uh, M A D D O X. Right, what was that backwards? <laughs> I can't do that. No. <laughs> okay. X O Z D A M. Saw them. Yeah, but okay, we'll tell you that Zebrex is essentially a palindrome. We're good. Never mind. So, yeah. Okay, so. So once we but track we're... down this guy, then we can ask him to give us the relic. <laughs> and then we can go back home. And, and that means stop all of the hell to, That means to come life. back to life, right? Yes, yes, yes. You come back to life. You are dead. I think, but we're, you're still alive. You we're... have six consciousnesses inside your one body. Well, maybe more. Maybe more. And are they all dead? None of you are dead. Oh, wait. Oh, I know what he's talking about. Oh. There are a bunch of you that went down here before, and only one came out. It, one but body, you were all six in brains. the same body. We don't know which of you is that body originally. I feel, hey, hey, hey we can lie to him. For I'm sure. not. You're his best friend. Why would you lie to him? I will hit you with my shoe. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Are, are you uh, guys having like a special ghost talk over there or something? Nah. No, you're the no. only one that is ghosts. Yeah. You are the Sorry. only one that is six people in one body. Yeah. We are all just a singular person in one body. Listen, Maddox, Wait. I know this is a lot to take in. I just want you to know that I am here for you as your friend, to help you with whatever, you know, we, we can just keep moving and we can get back like to our a plane. You're, you're like a personal ghost. Did we know each other yeah. before? Yes. Very well. Yeah, I, I like uh, gave you food Ooh. a while back. There was pie. There was I a pie. The yeah. pie. There was pie. Cool. Check your pants. Cool. Check I your think, pants pockets. You probably still have, have some of that pie. Yeah, yeah you have a little Water bag that you're carrying with some pie in it. Do you believe, do you believe us now? There's no way we would know you have pie in your pockets unless you are a friend. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> exactly. It's impressive pie pocketing. It is. Something that has impressed the other yous that we have met is that you are able to do magic and swing a sword all at the same time. So, okay. FYI, oh, yeah. if you did not know you could do that, now you do. Uh, that, huh, yeah, no, I know I can do that. I don't know how I know that, but I do. <laughs> oh, good. That's right, Maddox. Because you're kind of amazing, you're and cool. we kind of love you. You're the best. Aw, thanks. Well, I can't wait to be alive again. Let's, yes. So let's go, let's go. Let's go find let's this go square this amulet. Let's relic. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm almost done identifying. Oh, oh yeah. Good. <laughs> Don't and, worry about me. I'm and fine. I've got uh, Hydra's head. I don't know if you know. Da, 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 both of y'all give up. Yay, because. Um, so, all rest. three items are enchanted as a set. The enchantment does two things it keeps them 
from decaying, so it will remend them like they're permanently good shape. Nice. And second, uh, you can use a command word to make them light up and glow. Oh, oh that's lovely. Rave robes. So they don't mm-hmm. rot and mildew sitting here in this damp cave. Nope. For God knows how many years between visits, and they glow. That sounds impressive and not cursed. That is impressive. So maybe that there is are like, not cursed. Maybe there are like I'm... simple villagers or people around here that he needs to impress with oh, his glowing robes. So yes. That's all they do is glow. Oh. Yeah. They don't like do can, anything. Can you figure what? What's the command word? No, not was part of the uh, identify. Oh. So I know I know how to turn them on. Yeah. So you have to be wearing them, I presume. Yep. What? What? what is yeah, you can. It's like. What is, yeah, yeah. What, what is the command it's, word? It's a word that I'm not going to give you in English. It's a magic word that you see. Yeah. Like yeah. a blah. So that's literally all these things do? Yep. It's a set of impressive, clean, beautiful robes. You find a hydra for like... Do we the shiny want... robes of clean, like, cleanliness. Do, do we want to take them... Somebody might be guys. I honestly, I, I think Luce, leave them for whoever honestly really owns them. I've been trying to hit a costume for this entire stream, so I feel like I should okay, probably fine. take these. <laughs> Did you put them on? Uh, yeah, I'd okay. love to. You, they look amazing. You, you can oh, yeah. pretend to be the god. They That's are fun. very, um, it, not exactly Egyptian, but Egyptian kind of style. Sweet. Uh, and yeah, they look less priest and more god or demigod. Okay. Do you have them all on? They're, I mean, if they don't have lizards here, this is going to fuck up their world. <laughs> We're going to be a god. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's the space pope. I have a finish. I have a toy of this in the other room. <laughs> you totally I have don't. a lizard in a pope outfit. <laughs> That's There's, me. Isn't that, uh, who's the guy that, uh, that used to do all the really short songs? Like, they're all the same. Like, it's a porcupine on a Hot Wheels. Porcupine on a Hot Wheels. Uh, something crop. Those like a... D- I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Terry Polk? Fuck. Somebody's got to know. He was a big internet thing. I can't let this go. Post it in the comments. Which one yours? So... Because so he would definitely sing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> space there's a lizard pop, yeah. Okay. I think so I you have the robes on. You look great. Sweet. Okay. I feel like space pope. if everyone's cool with it, I'll just be the first one to walk out of this cave and see what happens. Or do you want your high priestesses to go first? Oh. Do you have costumes as well? Maybe. <laughs> I have vestments. Yeah, I mean... They are vestments of coddle. I mean, it's, okay. It seems like he went to a lot of work to keep this here and keep it in good repair. Whoever whoever it is, whether it's our right. guy or somebody That's else. probably our guy. That suggests to me that oh, there is value in presenting yourself in this wonderful glowing outfit. All right. Well, if, you, if you'll say the healing or the light on word for me, I guess we'll... We, we tell you the word. Oh, you sweet. have to say it. I have to say it? You have to say it. What is it? Gleaminex? What was it? I, I was trying not to give it to you. Okay. He tells <laughs> you the word. Up. Just belch. Uh, it it uh, lights up and it's like you're a you're a bit light. It's it's amazing. Sweet. Okay. Oh, I. Oh, okay. You're gonna emerge from the cave like Jesus. Eye robes, so it's not gonna be his eye robe. Correct. Yeah. Oh my God. His eye robes are on the inside of it. You emerge. Yes. Hey, hey Maddox. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go outside now. Is that cool? You feeling good? Uh, you got any more questions? That's just- does that mean we're alive? We're gonna be alive when we come out? Like, where do we go? Yes. We're going back. Yes, we're going okay. to be alive. Yeah. We don't. We don't know where we're going yet. We Let's still go. have to find this asshole. Okay. All right. So, so here when we, we come out, we would get like Lords of Arabia music swell, and you are on in a desert. Sweet. I just nobody around, just in the middle of the desert when we walk out. Middle of the damn desert. Wow. Okay. Well. Thanks for letting this me wear the robes, is more folks. like what I thought being dead would be like. I, uh, I agree should, with should we get some water from in there to take, to take with us? Yes. So you would have some extra stuff with your regular gear. You fill up a few of your extra bladders and such and uh, t- take all the water you can. 
and then head back up. Hey, G, do, do you want to maybe try flying upward to see if you can get any view of anything? Um, the head can do 300 feet. Ooh, yeah, Obviously, well, with flying, you'd go higher. It doesn't explicitly say that it can fly. It hovers off the ground. So probably not, then. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can cast fly on myself or somebody else. Um, but that's it for my third level spells, then. Just, oh, and he yeah, says yeah. some shit that magic users understand about spell oh, slots and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> but, do you want to just throw well, the head? Well, when we emerge from the cave... And we kind of turn around and look back at what the cave is is in. What is it? Uh, it is an outcropping. It is a berm. So it's very like Leitz Seach. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a rocky so it's rise not above much of a okay. elevation no. if we were to climb. No, up. not really. Okay. Sadly. Um, it's at least a little bit of an elevation, though, and every little bit helps in the desert. Yep. Well, it won't take terrifically long. I think it's worth climbing up the berm here to get a... And if that doesn't give us any information, I can conceivably cast fly on somebody or maybe the guy with the look of eyes. Maybe, maybe we should say that until I can, like, T-pose above the entire population of whatever round this is in my cloak. <laughs> you just want to cosplay the Brazilian yeah. statue? <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so you go up to the top of the berm and you look out. And in the distance that way... Uh, there is actually what's probably a settlement. Oh, look. Sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's distant, so it's just like like a little bit of blockiness on the horizon. But you're pretty sure that's structures. Um, given this is probably a new, entirely new dimension or plane of existence, are there anything in the sky that we can navigate? For example, is there a sun or are there multiple suns? There is a sun. It is bigger in the sky than yours and very hot and intense. Is it, does it seem like it's about to rise or set or? It looks midday to you. Perhaps we should wait until it's a little less uh, sultry. I like that plan. Was it super hot? It's, it's, it's pretty hot, yeah. Okay. So you want to go back into the cave and uh, wait for the sun to go down? Mm-hmm. Hey Maddox, we're going to go back in the cave. We're not dying though. That's, that's not what's happening when we go in the cave. We're trying specifically not to do that. Okay. okay. Yeah. We're trying to be smart okay. about not walking through the desert in the middle of the noonday sun. Okay, that seems like that would be. It seems like out here is being dead, and back there is is much better. It's like less dead, I would say. Unless you're. It's less dead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was. Well, let's go. Hey, the hydras make good eat. You look. You look fantastic, uh, by the way. I thank know. you. Thank you so much. Properly that's, cooked. That's great to hear. Well, we got some time. It's like snake. We also don't know how long so. the days are here. True. But we can absolutely start so a fire. So cut to the party enjoying some slabs of Hydra. Mm. Right up my alley. Yummy. It's great. You know, I really love Hydra. It's like when you finish the head of it, it's like another one just comes back. <laughs> oh, so delicious. God. This one wasn't regenerating, was it? It wasn't um, one of those. We wouldn't notice, but it was head. not. Okay, good. <laughs> Nor did it grow a head. It just had uh, more oh, multiple uh, multiple heads. Phew. All right. So the sun goes down in about six hours. Gotcha. Oh. Great. It is Very now twilighty and a lot less dangerous now. All right. Now looking up at the evening sky, are there any stars, moon, anything at all? Yes. So we feel like if we make a survival mm-hmm. roll or something, we might actually be able to navigate to that village we saw. Yes. The and then Fantastic. back. Oh, good. Are there lights of any kind in the settlement? Um, as it gets darker, you will see some light coming cool. from that, that area. And it is clearly like hours away. It's distant. Okay. All right. Maybe you take off those bright robes and uh, just use your far-seeing super dark vision okay. robe? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll switch... I mean, so you leave the robes. Idea, and I'm not that smart. No, it's a good. Are you leaving the robes on or not? Um, I want to bring them with me, uh-huh. but not on if that's possible. Okay. Cool, sweet. Do I also have the staff, or did we? Yes. Okay, I also it's have the staff. Set. If we want to oh, sh- shove all that crap into the bag of holding, if it's easier to carry. Sure. Yes. I know carrying on an extra staff can be a bit of a, especially since you're a sneaky. Thank you. Type. Yeah. 
So I'll shove all those things into the bag of holding. Amazing. My, right. my goal is to get it back from you before we enter the settlement. But. As you begin to march, you're going to see it's not all just endless expanse of dunes. Here and there, there's a small cluster of trees. Uh, they are desert-style trees. Like uh, I think they have fairly deep roots and wide, and then they're also kind of palmy. Uh, and so they're like little groups of those here and there. Here and there, there's also uh, little mounds of earth that have come above the level of the sand. So it's not all like deep Saharan, everything's dunes forever. Okay. There's obviously like a layer of desert and there's actually earth here. So that's a lot better. And as you're, you're uh, going the direction of where the settlement is, about a third of the way there, you see there are other smaller structures on the way. And you realize uh, that they are farms. Uh, and they've actually built kind of terrace structures that they can bring water to okay. and then pour into this system that ends up being a little like... It is dissimilar in that the way they do rice paddies are for lots of water, but the way some of them are constructed, which is almost like the sketches I've seen of the way they think Babylon would have had to have been, mm. they, it's, they build these uh, steps... So that you can bring water and just pour down. It will just trickle to the whole thing. So they're kind of these garden farms. Okay. And they're all built up to be above the level of the drifting sand. And each of them has a small um, uh, sandstone building. Like there aren't huts here. Everything seems to be made of uh, something like, it looks like sandstone. So it's got a very um, uh, Star Wars appearance to the way the building is. Very like. Tatooine. Yeah. yeah. Does it, does it feel tribal? No. I mean, you haven't seen anything uh, that would say tribal to you, but they haven't seen groups of people yet, and that's where you'd see that. I'm wondering whether I'm wondering whether we have enough light to see by. I'm wondering if... So I'm wondering... Yeah. We can always put him in the ropes. I was wondering about putting right. him in the ropes, because the ropes probably give up light. Uh, well, you're going to use this candlestick I stole from the vampire? Does it, mean, does it make more sense? Wait, you did what? <laughs> Oh, I didn't tell yet. To have to have him be and and maybe looking divine or to be able to actually see. Does, does he look or see? What do you think? Oh, what do you think, Gex? Um, I mean, I I feel like we should save the grand god opening until we like know what we're actually doing. I I'm gonna put on the the cloak that I'm currently wearing that gives me dark vision 120 feet. Okay. Yeah, so good. as good you're choice. continuing. You're going to start to approach these uh, small, basically, farmsteads. Okay. They're waking up. So your guess about not being in the hot sun, they're just getting up to start doing their farming when oh. it's not the okay. sun of the desert. So people are coming out, and they have lanterns. Uh, and they, they must be, the way they look, they're oil lanterns. Because, again, you're not seeing a lot of wood to burn. Uh, so you're seeing these, like, you know, uh, from a distance, you'll see these these uh, lights of the lanterns, you know, going out. And uh, so you are not disguised. You're just crossing through. Do you want to encounter any of these people, or do you want to go between them and just go to town? I feel like we should just go to the main town. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. observe I don't know. them. That's, yeah, that's a good that's call. Sure. Yeah. I wouldn't mind meeting some of them to at least find out the name of the place where we are. I feel like I should not expose myself at this point. No. Okay, no. so I, so I will. Wanted... That's a good instinct. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I, I <laughs> want you. to observe and see, are they people? Are they bugs? What kind of people? Humanoids? Like, yeah. Uh, they are, are uh, dark-skinned humans. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I will be subtle. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to be the one to... The most humans, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we default to the send most the, humans, humans back in there. out there. And they're, they're working these garden farms, and some of them seem to be going to wherever they're getting the water. Honestly, should we send just Maddox? I mean, he's got, like, the set full, like, desert waster, like, mm. garb kind of going on. Like, would you be comfortable You're with not wrong. talking to one of these people? Sure. I can do it. Hell yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm up, up to the group, but I, I think Maddox would be a good call. Hey, Maddox is wonderful. Would you like I, one of the two of us to come with you? 
Just in case your brain goes scrambly. That would be nice of you. Okie dokie. Huh. I'll come with. Uh, you approach. Uh, there's a broad-chested young man who's returned uh, from where they're gathering water. And he's literally pouring a vessel of water carefully along the track that will water the garden. Uh, and you see there's a couple of ways they get it. There's areas that are some kind of well. But there's also areas that have these really wide leaves. And they let them out. There's some kind of accumulation that they dump from the leaf. Um, and they're big enough leaves that doing that, you end up with a moisture farm. And you can just dump that into a little urn thing and pour it from there. Nice. He looks at the two of you. He says something in a language you don't understand. I have tongues. Oh, nice. Don't I know it? Fuck, damn it. The spell? Yes, I oh, okay. have the spell. I thought you were being off color. No, oh, that too. Okay. Okay, I think I can only cast it off. They were asked one for, asking for it when they added Cunnilingus on the new spell list. What? No, sorry. <laughs> I believed you fully. I yeah, it's, 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 it's in Tasha's. I'm pretty sure I can only cast it on one of us, so I'm going to cast it on you, Maddox. Okay. Whoa. Actually, wait, pretty I have enough Maddox. slots. I can cast it on us both. Uh, We're going to go for both of us. Who are you? Why are you on my farm? Oh, whoa. You can under... You, uh, I can understand you. I, I you, can. When did how? how I, your 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 sorcerer did something. <clears throat> priest, actually, but thank you. What do you say, priest? His hand goes to a knife on his belt. No. Who do you serve? Connell the Defender. He pulls the knife. We do not serve that god here. That's okay. It is not. Be gone from my farm. May I ask a question? If you ask it quickly. Where are we? You're on my farm. I've made that clear. In a general sense, we are a very long way from home, and we don't know how we got here. He actually returns the knife to his belt. And this feels to you uh, like a code. Like he changes when he starts seeing you as someone who's lost, like travelers. His entire demeanor changes. Okay. Oh, I was not aware. Um, this is... Aldrian, uh, there, we are close to this town, Bular Tavari, up ahead. You should be careful who's, of what divine names you speak aloud here. All right. This is, these are the lands of Zerbrex, the Dark Star. I am not familiar with that deity. Zerbrex? You would have heard that, even from the your back a little bit. <laughs> oh, Ears cool. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me anything about this deity? It is not my place. I am not a priest. But there will be priests in the town of Balotavare. Yes, it, yes, definitely. Wonderful. I love learning new things. Uh, if if you come with uh, humble devotion, I'm sure you'll be welcome. Humble definitely describes me. Excellent. So do you return to the group? Yup. Okay, you share that information. <gasps> what happened, Maddox? Uh, I talked to a dead person, and they couldn't understand <laughs> me, but then I was able to talk to ghosts and they have a different <laughs> god here and there's a town where they have their priests and it's um he's a dark star the god's a uh, dark star so Zerbrix is passing himself off as a god uh. which we kind of knew but he's using his own name oh, oh right you talked about that guy he's the guy uh, with yeah. the square amulet yeah. he is the guy with the squared circle so the name was, perhaps. Right. I mean, to be fair, he was the last known person to possess the squared yeah, circle. True. Yeah. He might not have it now, but he's our, our lead. He's our lead, yeah. 
they react very poorly to being told that you serve another god. But if they think that you are lost, then everything is suddenly okay again. Yeah, Which, that seems to, to be, be the case. to be fair, we are really, really lost. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes, like in multiple ways. Oh, yeah. Zerbrix is how we become not dead. Maddox, I, I think... I think he's oh. he's kind of the linchpin on this thing. You know? <laughs> he's he's the he one can, preventing he'll us. Bring us. He'll bring us. He'll bring us back to life. Well, he's got a thing that will that we gotta take. Gotcha. We, have to acquire. we well, don't have to kill him for it. I never said kill. I just said take. But <laughs> is he keeping <laughs> is he keeping <laughs> us dead? In a way, uh, or is he I, a? So he's both a good guy and a bad guy. I don't think he realizes that we are in this state. He's like a politician. He's just making things bad, and we don't. He doesn't really know what's going on with us. That's kind of that's what's happening. Oh, okay. I, I, I got the impressions from the legends and the tales of of Zerbrix that that. He was he did meddle in, in things arcane and caused some problems. He causes I think he caused as many problems as he solved. Like I don't know if he's necessarily a villain, but he's an asshole. He messed some stuff huh. up. Yeah. He's kind of like really interested in himself. Well if he set him up as self I wonder how long he's been coming here. I'm also curious if time passes differently in this dimension than it does back home. It might. Because it does, it seem, would seem to take some time to set oneself up as a god somewhere, unless unless he's just that powerful and, he, and with those glorious robes. I mean, if these people have never seen magicians, although he did, didn't he say you were a sorceress or think you were maybe a sorceress? He thought that I was a sorceress. So they're not so simple that it don't understand they, magic they as a concept. They understand magic. So if we have the robes, that I, means Zerbrex isn't here. is not here. <clears throat> okay. Or is it using them right now? No, yeah, it can't okay. use them right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> I hope he, he yeah, has may have through. left the relic here. He, he may it's have left again. Come it's, here and then. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I do have the ability to cast comprehend languages as much as I want on myself. Oh, thank uh, it takes me ten minutes to do it, though. Um, but that only lets me understand spoken and written words. I cannot speak it like tongues. Thanks for the donation to Philip. Oh, uh, go ahead and add someone take some inspiration, please. I don't have it currently. I'll steal one if that's all right. There should be a heart somewhere. There you go. Thank you. So did you guys get the like in impression that it's cool to like roll up on this main town or no? It is okay to go up on the main town if we okay. present ourselves as just lost travelers. So I sh yep. okay. So we I should be lost, and that's yeah. really no, easy. Do, do, do not pretend to be the god, please. Okay. I also think it would be wise, given the way that guy reacted, to to be relatively humble and soft spoken. Yep. If possible. Light. Um, uh, this version of Maddox kind of fits that bill a little bit better than older versions that were yelling at all the NPCs. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be good to go. Are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so the, the, the last two versions of you were kind of sassy. Yeah, but <laughs> so, we like this version did a lot I, as well. Did we? Did did I cause? Did I get you into trouble? No, 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 no. no. It was only good did stuff. I get you? Are you? Am I why you're dead? No, 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 no. no, no, no. So sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't do that. No, actually, like the other people we kind of got together? mad at you. No. No, none of us are dead, man. Oh, I'm so confused about... <laughs> Remember that pie you in your pocket? You can't be dead. You oh, got pie in your pocket, man. Oh, right. Pie. Yeah, ghosts don't eat it's pie. Me. That's right. That's Everybody right. knows that. That's right. <laughs> I'll eat my pie. Let's, let's keep on going. That sounds like an indie movie. Ghosts don't eat ghost pie. Don't eat pie. <laughs> it really does. I'd, I'd definitely go see that at the Arbor. Uh, okay, so you are going to... Uh, Wave to the farmer and approach the town. Yep. You know, I might, um, I might throw a, a covering over my shield. Okay. The arcane runes and whatnot might agitate the locals. In yeah. fact, the wizard hat might go in the bag too, because the wizard hat. So you're all going to normie it up a little bit. The wizard, yeah. the wizard hat look like. Because 
that that has the nice wide brim against the sun. I'm a sorcerer. It looks yeah. practical. It is very practical. Go for practical. She sticks out a little. I'm going to switch out of the, the rope with eyes on it. I okay. That's probably not going to yeah, fly. Probably a little, uh, weird. Yeah. Are you putting your uh, the white robes on now? No, I'm just going back to the, the normal leathers. I have. <clears throat> they kind of like tattered. So are you approaching the town now? Yeah. I'm going to take my ears and try to put them down. Kind of like tied in a ponytail behind your head. Yeah. All right. There's a samurai ro- rabbit. That's I'm going to like fully you cloak know? as much as I can. I don't know yeah, if that's yeah, useful, yeah. but... You're yeah, going to put out. You're going to put out a gator, which yeah. is useless <laughs> against uh, COVID nineteen, yeah. but helps yeah. lizard men. Yeah. Gator, gator. Okay. Oh, oh my God, God, Emily. What? Oh, you didn't hear that? D- you said it. Dad jokes. <laughs> All right. Um, no, so you are at this point going to town. Okay. Yes. I'm asking you. Oh. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, as you approach, you are immediately obvious. To everyone. I am, specifically? Well, you all are. You're walking okay. out. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. You're, 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 even though you've toned it down a little, you're not dressed like the locals. Yeah. Um, you know? And and your hood is weirdly high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, uh, a, a, a very muscular Terry Crews-looking guy. Uh, heads over your direction, and he's got uh, bronze braziers, bracers okay. and a shield. At his belt is a uh, basically a rod, so it's a little like an uh, old policeman's cudgel, so it's a little wider on the top. So it's kind of a mace. It's like a leg breaker really thing, fun? but but a little bigger okay. and more solid. And uh, by now, tongues is worn off. Something I say. Can I respond? To Hello, comic? I think we're no, lost. I won't do that. Oh, nuts. Something else I say. All right, well, this may startle somebody then. I, I, I have my book. Mm-hmm. I have to use it as my casting focus. And okay. I can do this ritual in one action. Okay. To cast comprehend languages. One moment, please. Okay. So, comprehend languages. Yeah. Uh, he steps back. I can understand you now, but you can't understand me. This is going to help a little bit. What sorcery is this? Um, can you write in? I can read what he writes, but I, oh, he can't goodness. understand what I do. I'm going to try speaking uh, um, uh, primordial, which is the language of elementals. He crocks. He crocks. Sorry, man. That was racist. Uh, He crooks an eyebrow. I don't speak that, but dwarvish. In bang dang boom bang boom. Anybody else speak any weird languages here? I can speak celestial. And thieves can't. Um. I'll try both of those. He he reacts and he says to you, "I don't speak that, but I think I've heard it." He thinks he's heard that language before. Oh, good. Is there anyone in this town who does speak it? Is uh, we can't. Hmm. Hmm. I. I'll take you to the priest. And uh, he occasionally stops and says, "Like, don't worry. I've got an eye on them. Stand aside. I don't oh. think they're a threat. Be, well, I'm being careful." Um, I'll translate for the party. And he I'll, takes I'll you. I'll just say hello a bunch. <laughs> there, in all these buildings are these sandstone buildings, uh, and the middle of town has a statue <clears throat> of that costume, Sick. standing ah. like like this, holding the staff. Ooh. I study the pose, and it's about twenty feet tall. Ooh. So again, very Egyptian vibes here. I will be very harmless yokel and ooh and all at it. And uh, he says to you, which you don't understand, but he does. Impressive, isn't it? Hey, it. What, uh, what um, Gleam and Zeke will do just to, just to be very humble and, and not imposing in the bulky self is just to kind of bow the head. He nods approvingly uh, and says to you, apparently just 
not knowing who speaks what, uh, uh, 12 workers uh, lost their lives uh, to create that glory. Wow. Oh, he said it was really hard to build. <laughs> you're inspired. <laughs> and by the way, you're very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and he takes you to a long building, sort of at the end. The the middle, I picture being a little like uh, the like the plaza. So it's got like a long area, and then at the end, there's a building that's very clearly a temple because of the way it's laid out. And uh, coming out of it, because people run ahead to be like. The strangers in town, uh, and a uh, gentleman comes out, and he's very uh, uh, uh The guy was the mummy, Ooh. so he's he's bald. He's like late thirties, early forties. Uh, he's where he's uh, basically bare chested and wearing just that overrobe, which looks a little like the robes he had, but kind of a lesser version of that. And he has a similar staff that's got the top, but it's like five feet, not eight feet. Cool. Um, and you understand, he says, uh, wise one, uh, these, these strangers appear to be travelers, and we know what the Dark Star says about those who travel. Uh, you've done well. Um, and he casts, and now he's speaking tongues, and you all understand. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. Uh, I, I am Luma. Um, this was uh, one of our shield bearers. They protect us here. Um, Very good job. You, you seem lost. Oh boy, are we ever. Most assuredly. Very much so. It was... We're not dead. That is correct. He raises an eyebrow. He casts a spell. No, you're not. Hey. Hmm. Confirmation, Maddox. I can tell you that. I have pie. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) He's... He has definite... uh, A susaw... Of Mike's version of Maddox. Yes. Uh, um, uh, it's beautiful. So, it is given to us by our Lord. He gestures to the statue um, to uh, offer uh, hospitality to travelers. Uh, please come in the temple. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We could use some assistance and information. I will do what I can. Uh, his teachings were very specific. Is he here? Always. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, wonderful. That's awesome. He is, he is our patron. Sweet. He's I all know, around us now. I, I clearly understand. I know very few gods who come down in any sort of avatar to actually interact with their followers. So it's wonderful. To I don't know one. how it works in your land here. It is common. Normally a patron of a region is made manifest to guide and protect. Oh. Uh, we yes. honor them. We follow their ways. I follow uh, Zerbrex. If I may ask, uh, has he made manifest recently in that form? It's been two years. Okay. Mm, just a little mental math. And he's taking you through the temple. There's a lot of, there's an open area in the middle and a lot of side rooms. And you go through and the back is obviously like where the priests are. He takes you like to the left and there's like a big old, uh, like a side chamber. And uh, he takes you in and says, is there anything? That you require food, drink. Uh, you have any? Do you have pies? Do you know what that is? No. Don't worry about Maddox, it. Maddox, you got any left? You want? Can you show them what this? What you got? Pies. Oh, Shannon. He might be dead. <gasps> you think? We have hearth bread with honey. 
Oh. Just just a little nibble would be nice. Thank and, you. Yes. And I, I believe you. Let's keep it to ourselves for now because they'll freak so out if they what know. We, um, we're trying to stop our world from oh. ending. Allow me. I need to see the underpriests and retrieve the food for you. My apologies. And he goes uh, to the door and says, Our Lord was very specific about travelers. He takes a step back, and the big stone slab locks you in. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Nah, nah, that, that, that. Okay. You are oh. now in a, a sealed Egyptian pyramid style, possibly perma. Stone dropped <laughs> like that to the to the rogue looked like the thing the panel he pressed just caught a rope and it just dropped. So there's no going back. Oh sure. Like that's <laughs> Yeah, well they weren't thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> did they did they beat you? I have no, at they least didn't. three different ways to go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could I could oh I have to see the place. Uh one and one not surprised. Okay. Um, I don't have to see it to dimension door. Huh? No. But I can't take you. I can only take one person with me. So the other thing, and again, at eighth level, I'm not going to make you make rolls. Some of you will have noticed this and conversing now like you are. This was not the only room in the, that side area, and others were it's sealed. Heavy closed. So this whole place is charged with oubliettes to seal in it, travelers. It looked like the instructions were, if anyone follows, lock them away. Uh, okay. You know what would be fun? The problem is Lots of things none of us <laughs> even vaguely resemble Zerbex. Because he's a roughly he's a human male, right? Do we know that? So Do the thing is you only need to be in the robes. Nice. You only have to be roughly humanoid shape. Okay. The lizard can do it. Uh, uh, Maddox can do it. The bunny with is not going to fit in the headdress. Uh, the elf could, is a little short, but could do it. <clears throat> you're the only one that really couldn't do it. Because here's short. the deal is we still have the robe and everything. If somebody dresses up and I dimension door the two of us yes. out, Zerbex can be very angry. Ooh, that's yes. good. Oh, I like that's that. really good. Um, yeah, no. he was looking real smug <laughs> when he locked you <laughs> in, by the way. Be pissed off. <laughs> um, I would love to hit a costume. <laughs> but uh, who has, who who has, has, has a, better charisma? Is it charisma yeah, that we should be looking at? Oh, yeah. I think um, Maddox is pretty. Maddox is a maze boss. My charisma is plus one. What do you, what you got? Maddox is nice. a plus four. Plus Maddox two. is very pretty. Oh, plus two? You should be yeah, plus four on just about everything. Uh, you have plus three to all, plus four to all skills. Oh, all saves. I see that up above. Yeah. Saves as well. You got tons of good yeah. numbers. You are amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skill test and plus four. Well, because he's plus basically Mui Mot, multiple, multiple classes, the way I did it is he's like mm. Jack of all, I called it Jack of all trades, master of none. Master of none. So he gets. Half his proficiency for everything. Gotcha. And at his level, that results in being four. Being a lizard does not help my charisma. I think you should go for it, Maddox. <laughs> being a lizard does not help my well, charisma. in this dimension. Perhaps in another dimension. Uh, Potentially. Yeah, I, another will, I will do it. I will do it. Can you get, re you yeah. have to get real mad? You got to get real mad at these guys, Maddox. Well, here's I the, will just... I... Oh, yeah. You got this. I can do it. They don't have this. They don't even know. They don't know. They don't know what pie is. They're not alive. They believe in you. They're not alive. That's They're right. Not pie. They're, yeah, that's right. That's right. They're you're dead to us, you. You're keeping us from going that's right to being alive. Let's go. Hey, get him out of here while he's still alive. Come on. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Headdress, robe, staff. Hey, Maddox, say the secret word so you glow. Uh, would you get Giffily next? That was it. What is it? <laughs> so, he looks tremendous. Wow. So here's the, the before we dive through. Oh, dear. If these are literally cut and drop and they have no mechanism to lift them back up, which is quite possible, us getting out there and raising hell won't get the rest of us out of here. Do you think we can lift these? Um, well, if you he put, the he's potion. like the D, he has the potion. He, he can command whatever he wants, right? Like, well, if you had muscular people with blocks, you could go with crow, crow even if it's just a drop, you could lift. Uh, yeah. lift. It would take a work crew, but you could make a you, gap. You have the thing of hill giant strength. No, it's not hill giant strength. It's the other one. It's the resistance. Here's another thing I can do. What's the ground made out of? Sand. Oh, God. 
Um, I, before I dive through, the, before I do the dimension door, I can summon an element, an earth elemental, yes. which can burrow under the door. Sure could. Potentially. Now, the, the door, fact, door is stone. leave a tunnel behind it because that would be cheesy. But, but the, the door is stone. It could probably just lift it up. Well, I think his point is if he loosens as it passes, it might sink. Yeah. And I'm not sure you're wrong about that. It looks, you kind of look at it, and you, considering this kind of shit is pretty professional, you're like, right. yeah, maybe. We'd have to climb up and go over, I mean, but that's plausible. I would be a, you don't know how big the rock is that fell to. Uh, I would, right, how much higher yeah, it goes. Like, yeah. The elemental could just make a hole so that the whole door drops, and then we just walk out. Well, that's, we'll that's what he's it saying, is it doesn't really make holes. It depends on how big the, the tunnel is. Like you said, he could soften up the ground. But what, I, what I was thinking is, first off, it'll it'll be a good presentation of godly power to have yes. an elemental pop out of the sand, and it could help us open the door, and it could help them open the door. Uh, but I want to do that first so that it's, it's active when we teleport through. Yes, okay. Good idea. Cool. So I'll summon the earth elemental okay. first. Sir Max is angry. So it works well. What's the strength of the earth elemental? Um, it's only 18. Okay. So uh, does it have any listed abilities to like move earth or anything like that? Um, no, it has a slime attack. Uh, it, its movement is listed as being uh, burrowing. Okay. Uh, it moves at a 40 foot burrowing rate. So the best it's going to be able to do is basically burrow back and forth, and it will gradually sink down. It would take time, because it doesn't have any specific abilities to yeah. lift or to move. He is listed as medium size, so he's, he's yeah. the size of a so nice chunk he, of human. So this could take, how long does it stay around? Uh, an hour. It could be 10, 20 minutes of the thing just swimming back and forth, loosening the sand. I mean, they don't know what's going on. They just looks like it's sand moving around. Maybe it's true. It's, it's just distraction. If, if they even else. notice it, because it's also swimming under, uh, okay. and you wouldn't immediately see the top going down because you're not yeah. you're not moving the obvious door, right? It's just sinking. Okay. It'd be a little like making quicksand. Mm -hmm. But we already have uh, Maddox is already dressed up like the yeah. the guy. Yes. Right? So what I guess our revised plan here is the Earth Elemental is swimming around under the door. And once they notice shenanigans, if the door isn't open enough to get through it, I'll do the dimension door trick. Sweet. Okay. So I need a uh, fate roll from Brian, please. I can do that. I don't think it's like... Plus four, baby. Whoa! <laughs> the, um, yes! <laughs> incredible. That's as plus as it can be. Uh, by the way, our stream chat is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Like, it helps that a lot of her friends are, like, comics. Yes, but yes. some of the stuff that's dropping there is... We are looking occasionally. We're not playing it. By the way, it's fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. So, they don't notice. Because the thing is, the word oubliette is not wrong. The definition of oubliette is where you put someone to forget about them. Oh, yeah, they're fairly confident we're stuck. Well, and because it's worked, right? Yeah. Like, they probably didn't have 8th level wizards. Mm -mm. So, when you, when you drop a stone like that... Generally, like this was the trick in the pyramids. You'd go, thank you for designing our pyramids. You don't a shame if you're permanently trapped here. And then they drop a fucking thing. You and you dropped a 10-ton block. Um, they're done. <laughs> my God, these things make me look like Lobot. When I go sideways, I'm like... I kind of do. It's kind of... Oh, well, it's a good look for you. I'm like an elder Lobot. Elder Lobot. I like it. If Lobot lives long enough to retire, you get this. Yeah, Shannon's like... Shannon <laughs> just looks like Lobot. I'm, I'm, there you go. I'm, I'm full Lobot. <laughs> there, there was literally a point where I was doing, I was putting together an improv show, and I wanted uh, either Hawkins or Shannon to play younger me, and to do the same scenes. But it's me talking about my earlier life that they do the scene I describe. Cool. And yeah, I think that it back and forth would be fucking yeah, hilarious. I need another bald dude that was younger than me. Um, all right, cool. Short, long story short, it works. So gradually, you create this quicksand, and there's a lot of, like, kind of... But there, when they go back and forth, they don't have to do it very much. They go right across the courtyard to the back where the, the... You know, there's an open area where they worship, and then back there is where the priests are, and he's doing whatever priests do. The Terry Crews called him out, like, hey, there's travelers. Uh, I understand that we have got an obligation. He's like, yeah, we do. Shave if something happened to these guys and they took care of you and he went back to whatever he's doing. Vogon poetry or whatever the fuck is his name. <laughs> <clears throat> and at this point, you now 
can work together to boost up and go over. Like you will have to help because you will have to climb because you're not gonna. It will take most of the hour to Earth get that down. Certainly, yeah. Give people a boost. Oh, I think that's fine. I think the idea of using him as an elemental elevator is great. <laughs> so you're lifting people up, and I need a fate roll. Let's have Cody do one. Cody? Colt. Yes. Colt. Yes, okay. Sorry. It's Sorry. nine hours in. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> um, plus, or even. Even on the fate roll. E- even, okay. And the even is fine. We're just looking for not negative. Meaning, you're not midway through the awkward climb over when somebody comes up and goes, are you or God awkwardly climbing over a rock? Because that might not have been a good look. Oh, yeah. uh, but you can actually get to the other side and dust off. And now you're... Standing there looking fucking, uh, bad axe is standing there looking glorious, and you're all there. There's no one around. What do you do? Uh, I'm thinking we go charging in like we own the place. I think he just needs to go and and yell. Is there like a high place that he could go to and yell? The center area in the in the the open temple area has got a little uh, ris- uh, a rise okay. where theoretically it's the kind of place where a priest would stand and address the the supplicants. So yeah, if you could stand on that. Okay. Uh, we should let's What, look, what do we want to demand of them? That yeah, that was what I Like what are we we're looking for his any secret chambers he has or cuz ultimately we need to find a doorway or a mirror or a gate or a or a circle of magic uh, but we need to talk like we know what we're talking about. Yes. Like he has to pretend he's this guy. So the, if the first thing, first thing he says is, lead me to my chambers, it might be a little suspicious. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's I'm asking fair. the crowd, because I don't have a good idea off the top of my head of how we can approach this. So oh my God, neither do, I. do we think the, you don't think the artifact's here, right? Do you think oh we God. think that's with him? It's most likely it with him. It is probably would, with okay. him. Yes. I think we could just lean hardcore into, you've mm-hmm. angered me, I need my artifact back, you've taken it from me. And then they're just going to panic and take us to the most important place of this thing. I think. I think that's what would happen. Yeah, it, yeah that's a good, I like that spin me. that you're, that something's I been taken from me. I do not trust that you have taken care of my artifacts. That, or like accuse them of stealing it and yes. be like, yo. You have lost yeah. my trust. Show me how you have taken care of my things. Uh, feet roll from Emily. From me? Yes, please. No. Oh. Wow. How many minuses is that? I'm going, can I? Can I? Yes. Inspo. Inspo. Okay. Okay. Please inspo. Oh God. Because I think this is important. <laughs> Much better. Oh yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Double plus. Um, no. Quick question, Shannon. Would you rather yes. your donation empower shenanigans for the GM or inspire help for the PCs? Uh. In this case, because of what I'm probably going to do, I would say help for the PCs. Okay, so you could all have a, one inspiration. Uh, and Maddox, you have an inspiration should you need it. Sweet. Hooray. Thank uh, you. Oh, my God. Well, we're about to do something crazy. Got two. Yeah. Yes. So at this point, that, that random roll means the priest and his attendants are coming from the main house. And immediately notice it's that the dude next. who's lit up like Christmas. <sighs> you have made me really angry, you deadest. <laughs> you don't know what I is. And your ghosts who stole my square stuff. I want to know where you put <laughs> my stuff. And don't take me to any ghost place. Because cause you're, you're dead and you don't even know it. That's right. Okay, so normally I would give that rolling a disadvantage because it's basically this very Trump-like, you know, toilets are big, huh? We love toilets and, and pie. Pie is big in Texas. I, what about wolves? Uh, the but, bird cancer. Right. Watch out for the bird cancer. But he is wearing the amaz- amazing glowing robes. So I think instead of rolling a disadvantage, straight persuade, please. Amazing. Uh, okay. 
And we know from the real world that standing up and just saying, number 12, orange, cock, can sometimes win you elections. Hey, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right? Say loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was my third political drop, right? Am I at my yes. limit? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> Do you have, like, well, stash right? wake was, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a seven. That's not very good. Okay. You, got inspo. you do have the inspo. Oh, you just gave yourself an inspiration, you brother. Re-roll, re-roll. Oh yeah, so what is, oh, I get a re-roll? Is that yeah, what you Yeah, you just spend it. Four. Perfect. Please, oh my God. There's a symmetry there that I love. Okay. It's like karmic echolocation. <gasps> Dare oh. you! <laughs> 21. You see what being good to kids in hospitals can do for you in That's games right. that don't mean anything? <laughs> All right. So it turns out that they're so impressed by the bells and whistles that even though what he's saying kind of doesn't make any sense, <laughs> the, uh, the priest drops to his knees, uh, tears streaming down his face, no insight rolls needed. He is terrified. So clearly, he believes that the god has displeased him. He maybe even has accepted that the god is speaking in tongues out of rage. Um, oh, right. He doesn't speak He doesn't speak He doesn't know what you said, Maddox. He has I, no idea. Yeah. Tell me this is I get a random epistle because of this. Yeah, really I think that's angry. an important thing that's that so both funny. Shannon and Badex forgot. That's so funny. Is <laughs> you came up with what? <laughs> but you sir, been really, really pissed. That's so great. that's beautiful. I love this. So I could have told him anything. <laughs> you did. He says. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Luckily, you can still understand that. So. Well, it's been uh, 30 minutes. So do you still comprehend languages? Uh, yeah. That's oh, awesome. all right. My lord, I am so dreadfully sorry. He's so dreadfully sorry. Uh, we, we will bring you uh, our tribute. We will bring tribute. And he starts yelling oh. to various people, uh, get this, get that, uh, go behind the, the bronze door. Uh, uh, don't forget not to step on the pressure plate. Like, he's just telling people to go get stuff. <laughs> And they, that most of his entourage, quite quietly rots. translate all of this. Yes. <laughs> this he did beautiful. warn somebody not to stand in a pressure plate. I want to pay attention to that. Guy. And he continues to beg be for his life. It's not going to be uh, I did everything that you asked. I think, How have I betrayed I, I'm you? I'm thinking that we should. And he literally goes forehead down to the, to the earth. He wants to know how he has betrayed us, but we don't have any way to speak his language. I mean, I could uh, cast tongues again real quick, but then he would realize it. I think I think Shannon just talks more about pie and then says... He's so scared he ain't going to notice. I think it's safe to cast yeah. tongues. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a good point. Do you say anything else, pie. Maddox? If you have the capacity to I cast don't, on yeah, others. Yeah, look. Tell I can cast tongues on others, but... Guys, that we need extra are spaces. looking forward yes. to getting the stuff if it's not on a pressure plate, I don't even know what that means, but we don't want it because it's probably yeah. not good to yeah. eat. Uh, so, yeah. so I can bolster back. her magic. Uh, roll a d3. The creature creature regains one expended spell slot, the level of which equals the number rolled or lower. Oh. oh. I need a third level so slot if I want to do tongues so that Maddox can so you have no converse. Levels. Well, fortunately, you get a reroll, so you got two yeah. chances to get a three. It's true. Yeah, that's right? good odds, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Seems important. I get to roll you, it. you get to roll it, right? And so with the uh, thanks goes out to Michael Grimstad for the donation. Thank you, uh, Michael. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, add. Yes. Uh, well, depending on how you read the die, that's yeah. usually. How about you take it, Mike? You haven't so, one Bree, yet. do they want to uh, inspire one of the players, or do you want to inspire chaos? These players, these players. Oh my god! So you can keep going. And did you okay. do the thing? Maddox, you have tongues again. Okay. Unfortunately, I... all the, all that shit he just said, he that's did right. before that's that right. happens. Yep. So he did a second set of like crazy preacher babbling nonsense which the the priest does not understand he's again he is pressing his head 
down into the sand. At this point, tongues, so now you can both speak and understand. Uh, mm -hmm. And you start to see the uh, other people coming back around. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so somebody put down for chaos, finally. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so people are coming back, and they're bringing uh, bas woven baskets full of bars of gold, food of various kind, uh, and uh, urns of, uh, and it's not urns, what's the, uh, there's a term that was Roman. Ampules? Yes. Thank you. Ampules, probably of oil, uh, and small baskets of black lotus flowers. And they set them all at the feet of the dark star. So, do, do any of you have um, herbology as a proficiency? As a proficiency? Yeah, I think there's a herbology proficiency I as a skill. So. Herbalism. Yeah, I think he's right. I'm a smith. So. Okay. So, who's got a good nature so. bonus? I got yeah. plus three. It's so the highest, I think, so far is plus four for Mr. Is Everything. Nature, nature. I've just got the one. So yeah, I think it's Mr. Maddox, it go ahead and give me a nature roll. So D20 to the plus four. Okay. Uh, 22. And then a follow-up okay. arcana roll. Whew. Okay, which is also a 20. Uh, it's a D20 and then add a four to that. Uh, 10. So you may want to consult with the wizard. The oil and the and uh, the, the stuff they brought they brought you seems like a, a very specific combination. They look like material components. They don't just look like here's oil for your feet. Here's a gift certificate, to Taco Bell. Like the stuff they're bringing, not counting like the bars of gold, which are just bars of gold, but the rest looks like stuff you would gather for a thing. So you can go ahead and make an arcana roll, Mr. Dwarf. I will do my uh, best. Yeah. It looks like they're bringing this like a uh, recipe or something. They want us Thanks. to mix mix this together or do something with this. That is a uh, elixir of longevity. Oh, it is some of the hardest to find stuff. So your guess is, Mister Fun was like, "Bring me these hard to find material components. Make it your entire cultural emphasis." And uh, they are bringing all this stuff. Like, you don't have the recipe to make it. But when you look at the stuff, you're like, you think that's what it's for, though. Like, so if you were making kind of a Lazarus pit kind of thing, like, say you were like a, a broken golem, like, yeah. attempt at getting longevity, yeah. you might want to bathe in this shit. This, this guy's doing some real Rick Sanchez, Benny Jesuit shit with these people. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've used that as a hyphenated, <laughs> like, half Rick Sanchez. <laughs> Rick Sanchez. <laughs> is that Benny Sanchez? <laughs> or Rick oh Jezzeret. Rick Jezzeret. Rick Jezzeret. I'm going to the bar. Uh, Morty, 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 <laughs> Morty, <laughs> Morty, <laughs> put, Morty, put, Morty, put your hand in the box, Morty. Rick, Rick, what's your good idea? What's, what's in the box? box? <laughs> it's pain. Uh, all right, cool. Um, so they bring forth this bounty, and yeah. there's there's food, and the kind of food also looks particular. Like if you want to be on another plane and have someone just bring you shit you need. Like, it kind of looks like they're bringing you the... And gold the, bricks, too, which are... It's like, yeah. here's the Reverend's, like, survival bug-out kit. Like, they bring you everything you need in baskets. Like, the bread is, like, a hardtack. Like, they've got dried yes. meats. Like, this looks like the dude could just take this and live wherever the fuck for, like, months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they do. Like, he comes... Takes all the shit. Can you put, put all that shit in the bag? Pretty much oh. all of this. I want my stone golem while he's still here. I need to take this bag of holding and just load all that shit into the bag of holding, buddy. Uh, your your book spirit manifests to act as foreman. Fantastic. Awesome. And uh, this obviously impresses. A spectral floating that arises from my spell. The book. punters are very pleased by this. Oh, marvelous. I am to please. Um. You know, how, how, how have I wronged you, my lord? He can understand him now. How has he wronged oh. you? 
Uh, Why are you so angry? We did as you asked. You stole. You you ghost stole some stuff from me. I. I. Uh, I did you're, not. You're, you're, if, you're ripping me off. You're ripping. We need a squared circle. <laughs> is missing from my pockets, and instead someone put pie in there. <laughs> We need to find. We need to find the thing that you ghosts took out of my pocket. You. That's right. You need. Uh, he he struggles to make sense of it. I I can summon the boatman. Do you do you need the boatman to, to take you to your palace, yes, Lord? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I want it. I need the boatman to take me to my palace. Give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> I shall rant and roar in a whistle in order to distract him and give him a hopefully oh, advantage on that persuasion. That 20, baby. Oh, oh, shit, yes. Incredible. They're so freaked out that they don't notice that basically like, yeah, I'm your president. I'm president. Suck my dick. <laughs> like the, the vibe is very not the god they're used to, but they're so... It's almost like religion is dangerous. Oh, no. <laughs> and it softens the minds of the willfully ignorant. That's crazy. Okay, never mind. It's a game. This is a game. Um, so uh, they, again, he tells people to run off, and they run off. All that shit is in your fucking bag now. Fantastic. Uh, and that was thousands of gold. That's amazing. Like, that was like a tribute for a god like a big part of their cultural output was making those gold bars. This is two years worth of Well, and they've also said that 12 awesome. people died making the statue to him. I didn't fill them in on that detail. So, yeah, but, but you're the only one that can think, so how many died making those gold bars? Yeah, and finding all this black lotus. So yep. Like, so they've clearly chewed through their cultural resources just to make the shit you just threw in your bag. You're officially fifth level murder hobos. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're the we're the British Empire, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. my character's not the so. You're a yeah. So what do you call that? Oh, do you call it mine? Because that's what I call it. I call it mine. You're gonna buy so much pie with this, Maddox. It's crazy. Because I, I don't, I can't make well, potions of longevity myself, but I know somebody who can. And now I have all the stuff. So they bring. Uh, the boatman comes out, and he's another very muscular man who has been blinded. Oh. So he has a bandage across his eyes, and you can see that they have put out his eyes. That's, that's great. Yeah. This, yes. this is Festuk, the current boatman. Uh, Festuk, uh, this is me. Uh, take me to me. the pal. Take me and my companions to the palace. So this would occur, I think, to Gex, the most criminal-minded of you, yep. that the blindfolded dude is only relying on um, his voice. voice. Yeah, I was like, he, there's no way he's going to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is like, when he set off the fireworks and do the hypno patterns, they're all like, oh my god, he's glowing so... Yeah. But, but this dude... Not great one, for us. Then he may not have ever heard the voice before. Right, but we're opening with this. True. Uh, so are you doing anything about that, Gex? Uh, I'm gonna kind of like trick the blind guy a little bit. Distract oh. him. Oh, uh, what? Uh, so uh, give me a persuasion roll at advantage because of the tripping, yeah. Can I help with press the, press the digitation to like make like make sound effects or something that might make it more godlike. Never mind. No role required <clears throat> because he yeah. could shift the... <clears throat> okay, I've been speaking for too many hours. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like more liquid? Um, with caffeine, please. With caffeine, coming up. Oh, caffeine. Some from like the a sensor? Okay. I can make a sensor. I'm going to give myself nodules. Like, uh, oh, you can sound. boost like his voice. voice. Yeah. So I was going to make you roll because the voice was not as impressive as the rest. He uses thaumaturgy to make the bullshit as impressive vocally as with everything else. So your voice is now, you have one of those like kids megaphones that fucks with your voice. And uh, for a minute, you, the, the guy, the, the, the blinded guy's eyebrow cocks and then he hears the shift and he, he looks, the, the religious reverie returns. Okay, cool. 
Uh, <laughs> this way, my lord. And he knows thank you, the grounds of the temple very well and moves surely without any... Here and there, somebody gets the hell out of his way because obviously the blind guy cannot train for Howard was standing there. Uh, so Howard gets out of the damn way. The whole group makes its way out of the temple complex. You're followed by the shield bearers. And they will say to the, the crowd, uh, out of the way, the Lord uh, goes to his palace. And there's a, ooh, that, that like the crowd makes that ooh noise. Maddox, do the, do the and, pose uh, from the statue. They will stay it. at a distance from you. Uh, you wanted the, the yeah. Brazil statue? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they will stay back at the city, reverently watching as you leave. And there is, in fact, a river that was, it's a, a shallow river, but it exists, uh, Shades of Nile, right, uh, that went into the city, and the boatman takes you to it. And there is a gold-encrusted, Egyptian-style, shallow, drafted boat. And this is clearly like... This limo is reserved for the the CEO. Like it's has that symbol on it on a raised uh, planquin, and it, there's an area where obviously he's meant to sit, and everybody sits down there. So Maddox, do you go up to the the raised part of the the ship? Yes. Uh, and there is an appreciate you know, appreciating uh, ooh from the crowd, uh, those that are watching it from the distance, and. Uh, Festo gets in, and he has two big, long oars, and he is tremendously muscular. It looks like the plan is he's just going to guide this thing himself. Impressive. And uh, so his muscles rival yours. But it kind of looks to you like he was selected for this purpose. You, you would not be surprised if he was not raised on, like, a wheel of pain. Oh, like, gosh. you must grade, get better rowing muscles every day. Oh, uh, for the dark star, anything. Observer X commands you be swole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, terrific. What will you put on my eyes? Um, Only when you are swole enough will your eyes be put out. <laughs> uh, bring forth the swole gauge. Is the inswollen ink complete? Uh, all right. So you begin to go down the tributary. Uh, there are also, sometimes he uses the oars as poles because it's in places... Uh, very shallow. Other places there is, there are reed patches and he'll, so it's in part like, sort of like, uh, um, not, not Venus, place with waterways. Delta? Venice. No. Venice. Thank you, Venice. sir. Oh. It is nice. sometimes wow. more Venice. like. It's cool that Venus I, crossed in your mind with Venice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is pretty close. You should be very impressed with my de nearly dead, uh, broke, <laughs> considering my body's actually able to make words and ideas, that's uh, fucking great. Because my mind when you said canals, and I thought, Mars? I also yeah. thought you were talking about water on Mars. <laughs> not that crazy. <laughs> canals on Mars um, were not yeah. decades ago. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bree. Um, so you begin, and there uh, you go. And you eventually become you come to the uh, uh, the end of the canal, which opens up into a small lake. And he very assuredly paddles out away from the shore. And he is very conscious, like you can see him kind of reaching out with his hands occasionally. And he's blindly navigating the ship. And you can see in the, the little bit of the distance, there is a small island in the middle of this lake. Cool. And he's navigating to it. At this point, you start hearing singing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need a uh -oh. saving throw. Saving throws, yeah, I, I felt it coming. From uh, only uh, Grumzir, Grundir oh, good. and Gex. Okay. Not any of the others. What, what saving throw? Just general? It's going to be a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Oh. I'm pretty good at those. But when I roll a two, but I have one of these on me. You do. You do. Thank you. Yes. Because otherwise, I would have to sit okay. on you. I'm going to switch dice. I'm going to use the magic Let's Stop Brain Cancer $20 metal die that I have. Ooh, yes. Don't <laughs> fail me, Stop Brain Cancer die. 13 for me. It failed me. 
Um, my total with modifier is an 11. Okay, what did you get, Kex? 13. Okay. Um, you know, Grundir, <laughs> you'd yeah. very much like to go to that voice. <laughs> so the party watches, and, and can stop him, as he gets oh, up yeah. and starts to just walk off the boat. Nope, nope. Grab you by the back of your... I've got him. Okay. He's very heavy. Yeah, but I've luckily got she's hella strong. He's in full plate. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I got you. 19 straight. Bucko. Hey, what Bucko. are you doing? I want to go that way. Nope, you're staying here, Grandier. Come on. Nope, nope. nope. That's, that's a bad voice. That is a that is what? a very naughty great. person. It's that is some a point very naughty person over there. Various of you take... will realize that Festric is also a eunuch. Okay. And apparently is not affected by whatever this was either. Gotcha. Uh, there are also some implications about Maddox not Maddox not rolling. But Maddox doesn't know that. Um, Sorry, Maddox. So Maddox, yeah. But Maddox has multitudes. But the uh, Lord looked pretty happy uh anyway so um, I mean, how badly do i want to go to that voice because i have spells or am i wound out and don't you wouldn't know. use the spells good because i don't want to it would be, would be almost like to break out of her grasp an autonomic response so the minute they will like physically restrain you you like i think you'd kind of stand out of it if need be i will stuff handkerchiefs in his ears <laughs> you're basically sitting with him we'll do the trick and from time to time you look over and you want to go there. You see there's another smaller island kind of off that way. There's a bit of a mist hanging to it. As you get a little closer as you're passing it, you all hear the singing. But the other one that was responding to it is going to be the dwarf. Okay. Does it look like a chicken? No. <laughs> uh, but you don't see anything. You only hear the you only hear the voice. All right. Um, you come to the island the and uh, you get off and the the boatman makes no attempt to get off with you. So he just stays there with the boat. Okay. And there is a ziggurat. And out front of the ziggurat Bless you. Uh, there is a sphinx. Ah. A massive sphinx. Oh no. An actual real one or a statue? You don't know. It's not, not moving. Oh, they don't do it very often here. Well, does it appear to be carved from stone? Uh, yes. I thought they'd do that too. Um, are there people here? we go? Are there people here? Nope. No one's no. here? Okay. No. I feel like you should keep the rub on just, oh, yeah. just in case for a while. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, cool. So will you approach? Mm hmm. And do you approach as a group, or is the Majestic Glowing Lord first? I, I, I think Majestic Glowing Lord goes first, and we... Yeah, so did you ask, want to ask something, Bri? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the singing. We're out of range. Of the yes. Okay. You went past it, and it's gone. Oh, I'm very disappointed. As you approach, we'll go back. Uh, the Sphinx <laughs> turns to flesh and animates. Oh, of course it does. Mm. Okay. Welcome. Do we all understand? Oh, hey. You do all understand it. Cool. What's up? Oh, Sphinx? oh, hey. Thank you. Good day. You're, you're crushing Maddox. It Keep just going. looks down at you you're in crushing. many ways. Are you, uh, are you, are you keeping my, uh, palace nice? This is not your palace. Uh, that guy on the boat oh, would imply otherwise. Those bits of cloth of and the tawdry mask. <laughs> yes, I have heard of pie. It is amazing. Oh, right? It's good, isn't it? It is proof of the divine. Yes, yes it is. Yes, you get it. Show That's the pie. right. Show the pie. I Show do. The pie. Oh, yeah. Look, here. I have a little bit of pie left. Check it out. That is far too small for me to even taste, but I can see from here that it was delicious. <laughs> yes. I think you and I have, like, a thing. This is great. <laughs> do you mean rapport, or are you coming on to me? 
No, I mean, uh, rapport, I guess. Yeah, rapport. Like, we're buddies. Like, you right. know what as I'm going to say. As you are clearly no gynosphinx. I'm attracted only to gynosphinx eye. Thank goodness. Okay, that's, yeah. Oh, dread you're lord. Big. Shall we enter before you and prepare the space? None may enter. Except. A nun? Oh. If you answer three riddles. Oh, boy. How did okay. I? Okay. Okay. If you insist. He's going to be like, I'll help with this. I'm really bad with riddles. <laughs> okay. That would make you poorly suited to the task, dwarf. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You right. would want someone who is exceedingly good with riddles. You want us to succeed? That's very nice of you. One does not make puzzles and hope that they are not solved. That would be idiocy. Okay, I'll serve up some easy riddles. So what? No, that would pose no challenge and be no satisfaction. Oh, damn. Before we get into this, Mr. Sphinx, may I, may I call you that? If you must. Do you have a name? Or is that a riddle? I have a name. Can we know would that? Would you like us to call us by your name? Bellastari. Bellastari? It is delightful. That's pretty badass. You. That's pretty awesome. Hey, I just wanted to know, are you going to like kill us when we don't get the riddle right? If... I will call down fire. Hmm. What does that mean? I Probably mean. being burnt to a crisp. Okay, gotcha. Just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. I don't know how hardy you are. I'm pretty strong. I killed a hydra one time. You might survive. All right. We got a potion. Are you? Fire but resistance. like, how do you call down fire? You don't breathe fire, do you? You're, That's then a good you'd question. Be a dragon. Why are you? I a am a creature made entirely of magic and will. He is kind ah. of amazing like that. But can you answer my riddle? Ooh, okay. I will not. That's, I mean, that doesn't seem fun or fair. Well, that I am sounds bound. like you're... There are three riddles. Right? I am bound and charged to a task. I am not free to riff. Why? I'm bound by mighty <laughs> okay. spells. Okay. And oh. I am a creature of... Magic and will. I've explained Therefore, this. Therefore, you must answer to your. I must wait, serve. Wait, 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 wait. If you are a creature of magic and will, how is your will not able to overcome the power of the spell binding you to ask only riddles? What if you are a not creature of magic and riddles? free will? So you hope to gain Lord. advantage in this quest by mocking me and poking at my weaknesses? No. I just no, like this. I just Among the Sphinxes, we have a thing called a pro tip. There's both. And the pro tip <laughs> is that's a terrible idea. It is. It will not help may, you. May we hear the first riddle, please? All right, Bellstar. Yeah, you may I ask, we should hear but only the one who asked may answer. And you may only have five minutes to do it. Do you have May we confer amongst ourselves? Not to answer the question, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear indeed. I am most fearsome, and now that I have mo been mocked, I am ill-disposed to give you advantage. I feel like you're making up rules, Bellastar, that weren't part of I, I so feel too. like yeah. the one reason, I, one way I can riff is I would be allowed to bite off your head. I'd like they to never said that, Bellastar. He <laughs> actually <Never>. gets up. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> and there's lightning in the desert sky. What? With my shoe. Is that the is that the fire? Lion noise. Is there a cigarette. So there's like yeah. a door. Of, uh, we'll try. We'll try, we'll try that. Door. This guy seems pretty committed. Uh, and it's could be concealed because it's uh, the, the stonework. Any of those things could be a door. Mm -hmm. He All sits right, down and calms himself. Well, what is one of you brave enough to ask? But I am do you, very good at do we think this is actually going to be like a roll or like a real roll? Because I'm not good at either. I'll this. <laughs> character's probably better at most than Brian is. Brian okay, is terrible. so I will tell my, you this bit. Uh, my plan player. is to give the player a chance to answer as a player. The player has no answer. The character may make a roll. I see. And if the character rolls, the character's stats will back him up. But okay. at first, okay. we can try to do it with role playing. We'll try but I'm not going to penalize you for not actually being a wizard, because there's only wizard at the, one wizard at this table, and it's this dude. It's it's oh, this yeah. guy. <laughs> I'm 
All right, so to Speak anyone... Speak Bellastari, I shall try first. Very well, you are most brave. I commend you. I advise your friends to st stay uh, back away from you, just in case. What can you hold in your right hand, but never in your left hand? Your left hand. You have answered. And the, there's the lightning flashes. You see, it wasn't that bad. Thank you, sweet oh. Bellis. You are welcome. You might have Bart Simpson that riddle. Hey, look, right here. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Please continue. Again, the pro tip about <laughs> poking the sphinx. <laughs> I gave that for nothing. You shush. I could easily invalidate the answer. Th those of you. That'd be cheating. Those of you, you, you are are can't do that. Tour. That's those cheating. It feels like that water. would be not bound you are into terrible, the terrible contract person. that you're in. Exactly. You're bound by honor and something. Does anyone else? I really want to stretch the rules by taking a big poop on you, lizard but boy. But you can't, can you? I, you can't I, do anything! I am oh. so full of shit, and I knew what I said as it came out of my mouth. I should... Does the same person have to answer your riddles three? No. <laughs> oh no, she took off with the chocolate. That's a plus one chocolate? Uh, it can be? No, you may... I have each a... question may be answered by a different person. I am perfectly capable of answering them all. I feel like you should go again. Well, go ahead. Your, your record's good one for one, but I'm going to go stand over there. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. The second, if you please. I like you because you've never mocked me. Why would I mock you? Obviously, you are mighty and terrible. Well, that's true. All right, I'll give you something off the not as bad as it could be list. That's very kind. What has a bottom at the top? Oh my. <laughs> uh, there is a very lewd answer to that one, and I don't think you want the lewd answer. Uh oh. Is it a dirty <laughs> sphinx? <laughs> dirty sphinx. Dirty, God, dirty sphinx. He likes what he call him dirty. It's his okay. thing. Okay. I'm watching the time. We can't help you, so... No, yeah. no, I, I'm... This, this is the kit trying to remember the name of, of the the sand thing, where, where you flip. There's an invisible image of that in the sky. Yes. You're just running out That's, of your five minutes. That thing. <laughs> that thing. Oh, damn it. Why, why is my brain not working? It is not an archibus. That's something entirely different. That wasn't very helpful. No, no, it was not. It's, it, it's... Make an intelligence save. Can I do a wisdom? No. Damn. This is not about a wisdom, it's about knowledge. Damn. Wisdom is insight and willpower and perception. It's, it's the sand clock where you flip it upside down to make the sand run from the one... It, from you can stop fishing because that's not the right answer. Okay. So make an intelligence save, please. Okie dokie. To see if your character happens to know. You also have a... I do have a oh, you're just right. in case. I think I'm going to need to use it. Because that only would have been, I think... A okay, so use the inspiration. Yep, I'm going to need to use the inspiration. And it ends up being the same thing. Damn it. Okay. Uh, you're going to oh, need... Oh, 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 oh! What does that do? Does that give me another one? Generally speaking, you only re-roll any given thing once. I think she's tried to give her resistance. No. Thank you. Resistance is good. No, I'm not. I'm trying to do... 
The oh no, I can't do it. I can only, it's okay. Yeah, okay. I can only do it for. So make a very important deck save. Loki dokey. Okay. Hopefully this one will behave better. Actually, let me try a different die since that one was misbehaving. Good call. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> That's call! That's funny. <laughs> Your legs! And then it mutters another word and there is a flame strike. Uh, I'm going to give you extra effect for the 20, so you're only going to take 20 points of damage. You got 20 points of damage on it. What? Yes. <laughs> Jeez, it's better than Christ. 80, isn't it? it oh, okay. Gosh, 80 would have killed me. So you are sizzling. Oh my god. Okay. That was a clever riddle. I have not heard that one before. Who got the potion of fire resistance, by the way? Okay. Is this lightning or fire? Fire. fire. Okay, cool. Are those different? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. yes. You have succeeded at one. Well, um, I've read a lot of books and tomes in my day. You have a better intelligence save. I, sure I can do. smell it on you. <laughs> I will try the next riddle. Sweet. Uh, very well. The poor have it, the rich need it, but if you eat it, you will die. I'll make an intelligence save. I would. Pro tip, make the save. Wow, that's... I know, right? <laughs> you should start a TikTok channel. <laughs> <laughs> Giving out them pro tips. Uh, including my modifier, that's a 20. Yes! Uh, the answer is nothing. Oh, It's the only response, right? I like to think that the spirit of my book whispered that answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The head of Lance Hendrickson recently, like, seriously, you don't have this bad <laughs> I got nothing. I got, just, it's, wait, I got nothing. He's like, and he, ah, the head ah, rotates. Ah, oh, uh, nothing. Well me. done. Only one question answered remains. Well, I feel, I feel it's sparky. Let's do this. Hey, Dirty Sphinx, what happens after this? Like, what, what happens when we answer the last one? I will open the door to the palace that is not yours. Okay. That sounds That's wonderful. Fair. That's I'm looking fair. forward to it. What is so fragile that saying its name breaks it? Oh. You know this one. Mm. Don't say conservative, repu conservative pundit. <laughs> because it's not <laughs> <That's fair. laughs> I'm just going to roll. Oh. Okay. I told you I was terrible. <laughs> he, he could not have been more upfront. My <laughs> brain does not work that way. Yeah, yeah. It, it really no, does. No, totally work. fair. Oh, look at that. I have no... A natural one. Oh, no, So he says pudding. <laughs> silence. The, it, in fact, was silence. Yeah. yeah. Where were you when it you were not him answering? Me, the more I do it, the angrier I get because it makes me... Oh, yeah, yeah. You... You fucking it's grind. Okay. Because when you hear it, you go, oh, that was fucking obvious. That's and the I point had of, no that's idea. The point of riddles, so make yeah. a deck safe. And did you drink that potion? Was that the reason? Uh, no, I didn't even have it. She had it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so go ahead. I should have taken that because I can jump out. You're pretty tanky, right? Oh, not really. No, I rolled a three. Oh, so I'm going to be dead. But, you know, it was fun and I'm getting tired, so. <laughs> okay. Now actually got Revivify, right? I mean, so I think I, I do. do. Okay, cool. There is a flame strike. The flame strike fucking kills the mage. Just oh, no. dead. In fact, his beard is almost entirely singed off. <laughs> He's all like like, like Freddy Krueger burned. No, no. Uh, his robes are burning. His hat is burning. Uh, do, you, do you put him out? Yep. Uh, do you want to use Revivify on him? I, I think we should. Yes, we also have a scroll of Ray's dead. Yes. I, let's, let's, let's Revivify is cheaper, theoretically. Okay, then. Because it's a lower level spell, right? Does it matter if you do it or Maddox does it? I think it's. I is don't it his spell? I think it matters. Or is it a scroll? Well, I've got it's the a, uh, ability. It's a spell that he has. Um, yeah, it's just a, a cantrip. 
Yeah, and yeah, you come back at one hit point. Trip. It's the the it's you have to be. It's a third level spell. It's and you come back at one hit point, but it has to be done within like ten minutes of dying. Okay. Yeah. A I, minute. So it has to be done right after. Right, it has to be done right away. So if yeah. you run up and and do it, you can. Do it now, please. I am out of third level spell slots. Um, I am uh, coming. I come up to to uh, our dwarf wizard and touch him um, to to bring him back. The chat stream is very upset about your beard, by the way. They are. <laughs> um, so you, you, Revivifyam, you wake up and you literally cough ash. Is the beard okay? Uh, it's about half its length and oh, no. it's burned bits. Oh, no. my beard! <laughs> now, I I'm so sorry, know that we're not dead because why would you want to kill, like you're, look, you're almost dead, but I stopped you from being dead, so now I know I'm not dead. <laughs> That's right. That is true. I am going to. I'm going to answer the last. Uh, the, do we need to do another one? Do we need yes. to if you wish to pass me, you must. Yes. Sweet. I will do that. <laughs> what can fill a room but takes no space? Air. <laughs> I'll allow it. Huzzah! The answer was light. light. But in all fairness, air answers the question. Well, given our medieval understanding of science, we probably don't think that air takes up space, even though it actually does. Well, I've had to warn you once, Mr. Crispy. <laughs> I, I also have advantage on Dex's on Dex Not necessary. Not blended, so anyway. And there is a grinding noise and a portal. Uh, it's not a portal. It's like a door opens in the ziggurat. All right. So at this point... Um, Assuming we have a Mr. Tribe on standby. He's on deck, yeah. Uh, the eyes of Maddox flutter back. Oh, and he no. begins to shudder oh. and oh, drops no. to his knees. Oh. Oh. The next Maddox is going to be really surprised by his situation, I think. <laughs> oh. So okay. before we switch over, uh, let's say goodbye to Shannon. Thank Always you. great to play with you, man. Bye. Thanks for stopping yes, by. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to uh, go off for again another couple of minutes while we switch over to the uh, the next guest. Our final guest of the night. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for donating. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. 